awesome, right? Check this out. Okay, so I got my laptop and the TV in the background, okay? So let me show you. It's pretty, pretty amazing, right? By the way, I don't have any cables. I can just show you right now. Absolutely no cables and it is connected to my TV. Pretty awesome, right? I mean, you can see it in the background. It's working flawlessly. All the gestures, by the way, look at this. Voila, and open it, voila. And let's say if I want to change the desktop, okay, I don't have a desktop, but it is absolutely awesome. And you can do tons on this. You can watch videos, you can do pretty much anything you like. So it's pretty simple. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so I've got my laptop here. Really simple, nothing fancy at all. So the first thing you want to do basically is to make sure your laptop is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Really simple, nothing fancy. In this case, as you can see, my laptop is connected to my home Wi-Fi. And that is pretty much all you have to do. That is pretty much all you have to do on your laptop. And we have to make sure the TV, which I'll show you in a bit, is also connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's do that. All right, so on your TV, the first thing you wanna do is go into your menu settings. Really simple, nothing fancy at all. Hit the menu and you will get the exact same thing, if not exactly like this, but it should be similar. <laughs> okay, so go into your general settings, go into your network settings. Now inside the network settings, if you have done this before, click on network status that will automatically connect your TV to your home Wi-Fi. Or if you don't have that, you can always go into your open network settings and click on wireless and in this case just make sure your TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi by the way if you have a hotspot and if you want to use hotspot you can use that as well you can use you can even use your uh, laptop hotspot as well but in for that I'll make a different video it's a whole different thing so so let's click on the home Wi-Fi network and we are connected pretty much simple and that is pretty much all you have to do literally you don't have to do anything else on your TV, pretty much everything. So in this case, by the way, if you don't have a, a newer model of a TV, you can actually enable screen mirroring manually by click on source. I don't have it right there, but it should be available if you don't have a um, you know newer model of a TV. So in this case, you don't have to do anything. That is pretty much all you have to do. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, okay, let's jump to the, let's, let's do this, okay. All right, so the way you do this is really simple. As you can see, I got my laptop, nothing fancy. Go into your settings tab, go into your settings. Once you are into the settings, really simple. Okay, so once you're into the settings, go to the find settings and click on wireless display actually search for a wireless display it should be into the setting it, sh it should be into the system settings once you're into the settings click on multiple displays or you could actually just type in wireless display and should show you the connect a wireless display settings really simple and just click on wireless display connect and it should automatically search for the TV that is available to you. So in this case, I'm not gonna click it just now. So let me bring the camera back so you can actually see how this actually works. So let's do that. All right, as you can see, I got the my TV in the connect to a wireless display. And all you have to do is just click on it. As you can see, it's connecting and should be showing you on the TV that it is connecting right now. And bam, we are connected. Pretty amazing how this actually works. So. Let me close everything and it's so smooth. Look at this. It's absolutely awesome how this actually works. So in this case, you can do tons with this. You can even use your laptop for videos, watch videos, play games if you want to. I mean, basically you got, you got tons of great options and I hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, if you press on Windows key right there, Windows and P, P for Parrot, click on P and you got 10, wait, three different options. One is disconnect, one is duplicate, and one is extend. Extend basically means you wanna use your TV as a wireless second display, which is pretty awesome. I use that sometimes, it's so smooth by the way. I mean, I don't see any lag at all. There is absolutely no lag, it's so smooth. By the way, this is wireless, I don't, I don't have any. I don't have any cables, so it's so, so awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. The way you disconnect is really simple. Windows, P again, and you have the disconnect option right there. Pretty amazing if you ask me. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I want you to subscribe to the channel if you want to, I mean, if this video is helpful, please subscribe to the channel. That's gonna help me a lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.
Ooh. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.